Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Planet Explorers. Now, I already did a little preview on this build, of course, where I showed off some of the water physics and all that stuff, and I'd said that I wanted to just continue on and do a pre another like another preview video on the actual uh, additional stuff that was in the campaign and the NPCs and all that, but I decided to change my mind around that a little bit. Uh, because the last video series that I did do on this was such poor quality due to some lighting issues that I had screwed up. Oh man, I screwed it up royally. So everything was like a bright white at times and the quality was terrible. And of course there was also a little bit more lag and issues on the higher, div on the higher uh, graphic settings so I had to tune everything down. Now I've cranked everything up, it looks brilliant, it works well, there's no skipping, no nothing. I have gone ahead and already gathered some stuff, so we'll be moving on from here. But I'm going to start the campaign full on, so this is going to be a full campaign playthrough uh, with all the stuff here. I really wish they would just save the... allow us to actually save our progress and our content between builds. Because it is a pain to keep redoing this over and over again. And I probably won't do this for the next major build. I will likely just go rush it through it and start at the you know last place we end off this time round but because of the the quality issues i am just going to do it this way this time round so we have a quest right now we need to make some herbal juice so i already collected the materials for it so we're going to make that right now i should probably also turn down the audio a little bit there we go all right gertie here's your herbal juice yes. Thank you, this will help. Could use some water to help uh, this down as well. Here's a pitcher, so she gave me a pitcher. And of course, I gotta go fill it up with water at the ocean. So I go to my equipment, grab the pitcher, chuck her down here. You can see I do have an iron pickaxe that I went and picked up. Way off up here on the left side of the map. Because I figured, you know, it'd be good to get a lot of collection stuff done right now, so I won't have to do it later. Alright, so let's equip this pitcher, hop in the water here, and get some, uh, get her her water. Whee! Get some water for Gertie. I love the soundtrack for the, uh, for the sea last side here. It's really nice. Let me actually see if there's any materials in here. Any oil or anything. No, I don't see any materials here. Nothing. So bottom right here we have the handheld PC which you use to scan for minerals. Although I wish you could, you know, upgrade it so that it would scan automatically and just ping you when it runs into some materials if you so set it. Let's see if there's anything near our actual craft site here. Usually the uh, rock behind it before they changed it up used to be made of marble. So it was a really quick and easy way to get with some marble. Here's your water, Gertie. Here's your water. Yes. Here's some water. Anything else for me to do? Uh, give me some animal fat. Show you how to make a torch. Those creatures around here look like they can lose some weight. <laughs> yeah, so now I gotta go kill one of these. Oh, I didn't mean to collect that. So I need to get some animal fat. I should have bought a weapon while I was at it. Gotta find a creature to murder. Right, let's see what I can find. Now, the sun is already going down because I did spend quite a bit of time mining. So, we're gonna have to... I might have to take a nap in the bed here sometime soon. Wow, there's nothing here. I'm not seeing any critters at all. Oh, there's one, finally. God damn. Yeah. Okay, let's get ready to chop him up. Hopefully he won't escape on me. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. There we go. Right on, cowboy. Get on back here, my trusty yeah. steed. Damn it! He's getting away! Quick, rush him into the tree! 
Push him into the tree. Oh, no you don't. You're not getting away on me. Oh, damn it. I really need a long-range weapon. Got him, finally. Please have, please have, yes, thank God, he has animal fat. Woo! That would have sucked. That would have sucked. That was quite a chase, man. That was quite a chase. I suppose while I'm at it, I might as well go for this guy right here. And work my way back. It, it'll be much, much better off when I actually get some good, uh, good weapons going on here. Some good ranged weapons, like a bow or something. Charge! I should probably make my old gun again while I'm at it, too. My old custom machine gun. Four-barreled machine gun. Oh, I almost got him completely killed with a single barrage. Nice. Now, unfortunately, I have to catch up to him, and he's really hightailing it now. But he is still slower than me, I think. So I should be able to just jump and slash. Got him. All right. Let's get that. Now, they have improved the hitboxes on these guys quite a bit. And they seem to ragdoll really well now. Like I was able to move his individual limbs there when I was kind of pushing him around, which is kind of nice. But yeah, basically what the quality issues before stemmed from was that my main monitor that I'm using in front of me and my TV have different brightnesses to them. So I misunderstood that as, you know, it was recording a, the game darker, so I buffed up the gamma, and that's what screwed the whole thing up. How about that? Let me show you how to make a torch. So she should have tossed this in my inventory now, so... Items, and yep, torch script. Do you have anything else for me to do? But you haven't fixed yourself something to eat in a while. Do have uh, some materials to make a campfire. I think you can get them for me. Oh, shit. Now I need five animal fat. Ugh. Must die right now. You know what? I don't really care for the campfire. What is so, it what do, did that help? I'm still not feeling too well unless there's a doctor around. I don't know how long I will last. Stay here. I'll go around and find someone to help. I saw a boat land a bit north of here. Someone has to be there. Before you go, let me give you these sword and shield scripts. Oh, I could have used that. Yeah, thanks for giving me that now. Oh, I need more wood anyway. I need more wood. Let me go chop down a tree. Well, I'll be getting a bow pretty quickly, so I shouldn't even bother with this. But I might need, I'll need the wood anyway. So let me chop down a tree here quickly. Just run up this tree, right click, hold it down, and it will chop away. But yeah, they've added a lot more details to the creation engine now as well, so probably not this time, or today I mean, but tomorrow I might actually go on the uh, forums and see about downloading some really, really cool stuff. Some cool player creations. I'm sure they've, you know, got some new stuff up there now for this new build with the more detailed uh, creation engine. You can see all the stuff here I've collected. I have over a thousand blocks of iron. Uh, 800 blocks of marble, stone, 300 blocks of copper. This is all stuff I collected beforehand. We have some water. All right, let's hop on up here. So the boat we're looking for is just up here. All the sulfur and graphite and all this other stuff that is, I've collected. Yeah. Almost. Oops, I accidentally clicked on screen. Windowed mode, why hast thou betrayed me? There we go. That's four animal fat. Once she's all healed up and ready to go, I'll be able to take care or get this mission finished anyway, I believe. Or I can always just buy the scripts for the campfire and all that, so... I don't need to waste my time too much on it. Yep, sun is going down, man. Sun is going down. It's a nice sunset, though. Brilliant sunset over the mountain. Alright. But for those that don't know, of course, Planet Explorers is a, uh, a voxel-based uh, survival RPG, I guess you could say in that sense. I, I would, actually, I wouldn't even say RPG, just a survival game, because you're not really, there's not really any levels, necessarily. You're not going to be leveling up. You're going to be, you know, upgrading your gear, but that's about as far as any leveling would go in that sense. You're not going to be increasing your health, 
or any of that kind of stuff. So yeah, at least not yet. At least not yet. So yeah, it's just a uh, survival colony simulator action game. Spark. Oh, you seem new. Amid. So basically, they just join up with me. But this is the guy I'm looking for, Alan Carter. Boy, it's good to see you alive. What in the five hells happened? I heard a loud bang, and down we went. Luckily for me, I was seated right next to a lifeboat. <laughs> Yep. Did you get hurt or something? Gertie's hurt. What? A little bit to the south. Damn. Hold on, let me get my things and then we can go. Guard me against the animals on the way though. I'm only a doctor. Let's go. So now I just lead him there, we collect her, come back, and good to go. We move on from there. Alright. Ah, uh, this is a nice little area here. I like this area. But there's also supposed to be our new rainforest biome as well, which I'm looking forward at uh, checking out. Greatly looking forward to check that out. God knows where it'll be, because we already have access to a lot of this kind of area right here right now, I think. All these, like, four main biomes we have access to, so I'm looking forward to looking around some more. Maybe they've changed them up a little bit more. Because they've definitely added more segments to the story, so I'm looking greatly forward to that. Seeing what we can get done. And I might even build my super rifle. <laughs> my little four-barreled chain gun, pretty much. I, Of course, I, I don't make it look that good. I just kind of make it. So it's not the sexiest thing in the world. It just kind of functions. Actually, I probably still have that somewhere saved in the ISO, so I would have to check. Don't wonder if it is still on this ISO. Let me check the creation system here. Create gun ISOs. My ISO folder is empty. Possibly because it's in a different folder than what Steam uses now. But regardless, let's get moving here. We're almost there. We're coming, Gertie! Here you go. You sure look like crap. Thanks. It's good to see you too. <laughs> still and I'll give you something to stabilize you. We'll need to move you to the other camp though, since most of my supplies are there. Plus it looks dangerous here. Do you think it can move? I think so. <sighs> give me a hand. You're gonna be on guard to it again. Yep. Lead us back to the other camp. Your wish is my command, but what's in it for me? Other than saving a beautiful old man and a young lady in distress, how about three med packs? Hey, that works for me, man. That works for me. Three med packs sounds delightful. Okay. You coming? Oh, you're going. You're running. Running like the wind. Damn, that man can move with someone on, ba on his back. He's one hell of an athlete. Then again, those medics do train for that kind of stuff, so, you know. It's not entirely surprising. At this point, it's all automatic. He's just running there. I can, you know, keep up, and that's about it. If I stop and to fight something like that, then, which I will, then they're just going to keep on going. Oh no, you don't prick. Oh, they're under attack. I'll save you! I better get ready to heal myself, though. Need something. Get back here, you alien bastard! Oh god, so fast. I can't seem to outpace them. Even when they stop like that, I can't seem to catch up to them. Die! Yeah. Oh shit, this one's tougher. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck, that'd be Robocop. Not what I meant to pull up. God, I'm just barely lived. Just barely lived. So yeah, that would be the movie times I plan on watching later. Lol. Cough. Not what I meant to do. 
But it seems like so many times here I accidentally just click outside the screen when I'm going over to the right here to click something. Whoopsies! Whoopsies! Hey, what's up, Carter? So where are my med packs? I've had it as promised. Hmm. All right. So where are the others? I'm not sure. I think Shen went west to a crater, while Sly went north towards some big tree. You might want to check on them since it looks like you have nothing better to do. Oh, well then. Them both back, I'll teach you how to make a med pack. Driving works. Wait here. I've highlighted the two locations on the map. Don't die out there. And hurry back. Oh, I won't. Did you get hurt or something? What do you have to buy here? Yeah, he has the stone pickaxe, the stone axe, a uh, wooden bow. The headlamp is an important item I like to buy immediately because it just it, it helps out a lot. Stone sword, all these kebabs, roasted meat, compressed biscuits, some herbal juice I can buy from him, as well as some basic armor, hunter clothes that I can make. And I can buy the recipe for plastics, simple plastics, all that stuff, or I can sell stuff to him if I so desire. Oh, he actually did give me the script for that. Huh? What's with all the dangerous animals around here? Do I look like a zoologist to you? If only you had that Copperfield girl around, but still, I'm kind of worried that we might not even see the next sunset. Uh, with that in mind, I've been working on a chemical boost that will get us out of immediate danger. If we're in a close shave, but I need some minerals to make it happen, if you can help me out. I think I can get that. Find me these materials, and I'll show you how to make a revival shot. So I need a simple plastic and three units of psychus, which I'd have to look up. Anyway, I'm going to equip this headlamp, so you now see I give a nice little headlamp here. It's my favorite one to have. I never have a helmet because of this. Okay, but it is getting close to dark, so we'll just take a nap here. So put down the bed, we'll right-click it, sleep. We'll sleep for 12 hours, that should be good. Nighttime pops around, it speeds things up, you see that lovely moon. I really hope they added like a really, really good skyscape. Like they have that really nice moon right there. That is a cool looking moon. And they're actually, they have mentioned as well that they actually have a road map up now, I believe they said. If I'm not mistaken. Let me, let me sleep for another couple hours here. Drag this out of here. That doesn't quite belong there. And let me look it up here quickly. Because I believe they said something about a road map. Theme park, Planet Explorers, of course I have a bunch of extra key, well one extra key now, I should say for Steam. Okay, I'll grab the bed, and we're going to head over to Chen and talk to him up. So I already went there, so I don't have to go all the way back now, I just have to fast travel there by clicking on the map. I think the easiest thing would be to actually look it up. Planet Explorers. Backers, about. Let's see, they give the downloads. The next uh, major update will be A Alpha 8, which will be in late April. We want to include the saving building structures as ISOs and making them shareable, nice. Adding in building block LOD to save on memory, adding in AI text on camps and colonies, Dota-like tree structure for item replication, missions in adventure mode, character select in multiplayer, new story missions, and more. Uh, and they'll have a booth at GDC. Sweet! So anyway, this is the uh, crater, the meteor crater. This is where you would mine out a lot of your metals. This would usually be a little mountain here, a little mini mountain, or a hill. But as you can see, I've already been here and dug the hell out of it, so... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go talk to Chen here. Now, this is the guy I buy a lot of good stuff off of. A lot of my range stuff. Are you Chen? Alan sent me to find you? Yep. I'm a member of the Colony of Defense Force. So he sounds so enthusiastic. Glad to see that other survivors. He actually boosts that up a little bit here. Dialogue volumes go up top. There you go. Yep. And let's shop. So he sells, you know, copper pickaxes and stuff, some bows. He does sell some handguns and rifles, as well as some materials to make the handguns. 
that he doesn't sell the rifle stuff. That's somebody else's job. Let me actually get this here quickly. Apologies. Pardon. Ugh. Oh, that's better. Much better. All right. Oh, crap. Man. I dropped. Oh, well. Uh, let me talk to him first, because I think he gives me a lot of these scripts. What is this place? So here's a meteorite crater. It was doing some spectrometer readings. It is full of the brim with iron and copper. I think we could use this to build up some defensive weapons around the camp. I think you could help me out, gather 30 units of copper, 20 units of iron, and 5 units of tin. And it'll teach me how to build sentry. I'm up for sentries. I already have those, so I can talk to him again. Here you go. Great, I'll let you keep this sentry one, and I'll even throw in or the script for it, and I'll even throw in two as a bonus. Make them count. Says so the script for it, so I can now make sentry turrets. Alright, anything else for me to do? Uh, I've got a handgun and bullet script ready to go, but I need the materials to make them. Can you go gather them for me? So he requires uh, stone and wood. Let me go get some wood here quickly. I should really just buy an axe from him and help me cut these down a little bit faster. And get more out of them, actually. But as long as I get 20 units total, it should be good. So they actually did release a lot of fix for this version as well. Which is the most recent post that they made here. Things were hectic after the release on Steam, yada yada yada. Now let me see if they did post something about that. Bunch of bugs. The online multiplayer bug found has been fixed. Hmm. Alright. Oh, really? I'm one away? That blows. Alright, I'm going to buy an axe from you then. If you don't mind. Place that. I don't need that. I should go for the big boss up there. Go for the big trunk. Okay, this will allow me to cut these down a little bit faster. And get a little bit more out of them. Not a lot faster, but it works. It works. Now, the funny thing about this game is, you know, you can you don't have to tier through. Uh, when you first start out, you might end up, if you don't know about the little tips and tricks, as it were, you will probably end up tiering through a lot of this stuff. You know, going from your wooden axe up to a stone one, up to a copper one, and so on and so forth. But because I know that there is a minor NPC over here that sells some good stuff, I was able to just immediately go right over there, grab an iron pickaxe, and... All that good stuff, so yeah. That's a quick, easy tip uh, for people, you know, just get enough stuff to sell it. I sold my compressed biscuits and some bandages or some revival shots and got enough to uh, go buy that from him. Alright. So you might not need to buy all these scripts. If you do the missions for them, you can get it automatically. Now he has some firearms. See if we can survive this place after all. So he should have given me the scripts for the handgun. And the bullets, which is very useful. Which apparently I've already learned that script. So let me sell that to him. Yeah. Anything else for me to do? I'm in the process of developing a monster beacon, but I need some more animal samples. Can you help me out with some? So he wants me to go kill certain animals. Now, he's going to head back to camp here in a moment, but I want to make sure I buy some stuff off him first. Uh, namely the... well, do I want the script or...? The script would be cheaper and I can make it like it's that anyway. I don't have enough meat for that. Okay. I can't even sell that script to him. Alright, let me sell some compressed biscuits. Not all the compressed biscuits, that would give me way too much money. Or some meat, too much meat money. I'll sell six of them, half of them. Okay. See, this does 40, 58 damage. Durability is pretty good on it. So I'll buy that, and I definitely want the arrow script. So I'll get both of those. I will make them. Which, actually, I think the bow requires, yeah, bowstring. Requires five fiber. Five plant fiber. Do I have any plant fiber? Do not believe I do. Shoot. How much meat do I have? Enough to buy the bow. So I'll have to make one next time then. Get back here, Chen. Chen, back. Shop. I'm gonna buy that bow off you. 
just because I can't afford to make the uh, arrow, make the make it myself right now. I forgot it requires a bowstring now, and I do want to make some arrows. Max out 50. I'll do 50, not 51. Which actually makes a lot of arrows anyway. Resources, I'll right click those. Actually, I don't need to drag them in there. So I have 200 arrows now to spend. So for each one you make, you get uh, four, so that's nice. Okay. And he even gave me 100 bullets, too, which is nice. Rubber, I have all this other stuff here. I do have one plant fiber. All right, let's go back to camp. All right, going ahead. I'll be right there. She always keep you looking. Be careful out there. Okay, and from here I gotta go to the tree now, which is up here. So it's a little bit closer to start from here and work your way up. And I think I'm gonna cut down that big tree over there, this uh, big circular, well, cir half circle tree. Arc, I could even say. They're really cool looking trees, too. I actually, last time I played this, I had built a colony on top of one of these rocks over here. Uh, it wasn't one of these ones, though, it was near the actual Camp Carter. And it was actually worked quite well, but I think I might move myself somewhere else, my base somewhere else this time around. If I do get around to making a base for this. So let me get over here. It takes quite a while to actually cut one of these guys down. I'll cut down this one right here since it's low to the ground. It doesn't really make a difference whether or not it's low to the ground, but you know, just just it's less of a uh, it's less of a visual cue, so you know, we're still keeping the background here all nice and serene. Even though we're chopping down this tree, but once I go over to the forest, over to the left a bit here, on the map, once I get to there, it's wood's not a problem. It's not even remotely a problem. Of course, I like to get a good axe by then, you know, a good gold axe. And there's one guy you meet pretty soon throughout the quest line here that will actually sell you diamond stuff. But then he disappears right after. So if you want to buy like a diamond sword and a diamond shield, then you have to buy it from him, like now, or else you can't. There we go. Now I had enough for the bowstring. <laughs> and it was actually a glitch before as well, where the bowstring did not properly show up as something we could buy from him. I think that's one of the creatures I have to kill. There we go. Nailed it. This is actually uses a range, as you can see, he uses a range weapon against me. Getting closer to him so he doesn't run away. Okay, right click, put my bow away, and we'll go over and loot him. Yep, that was one, the giraffe, needle nose giraffe. Now I need to kill a. I, uh, a bird. I believe that's one of those gliding birds you find around here. I'm pretty sure I remember what that is. And the wolfinos is what I call the lizard face dog, or just, you know, Liz dog. <laughs> no, that's terrible. Yeah, they actually, th those were the ones, wait, did you, I don't think, you know, you guys weren't watching during that. I've already saw one of them before, and they basically, a pack of three of them just raped me. Hello, looks like we have some interesting coloring over here, possibly some metal. Let me actually whip out my handheld PC here, whip it on scanning. Enable all the materials here for scanning. And we'll begin scanning. Not seeing any- oh, there we go, we got something. So it seems like a yellowish material. Is that gold? Oh, frack, yeah, if that's gold. Please tell me that's gold. Oh, God, yes, it's gold. Oh, fuck, yeah. Nope, sorry. Not going to the tree now. Not going to the tree. We gotta mine gold. Gotta mine this gold. Alright, uh, let's whip it out. Although it is quite deep down, so it's debatable. Of 
probably take me quite a bit to get down there. Okay, it's directly below me right now. You can see it's quite a bit below the surface though. So it's going to take a little bit of mining to actually get down there. Alright, so in this case, um, how close are we to the tree? We're pretty close. But I'd rather start all the way from the beginning and then lose this gold. Because so I can make the golden axes with them and such. And repair them. Which are pretty much one of the better ones I'll get here fairly quickly. So in order to do this, I'm just going to dig straight down. I'll have to dig uh, vertically, or vertically, diagonally upwards to get back out of here. But, you know, right now we're just going to go straight on down. Gonna get some gold, yeah. Digging up the soil. Nah, that's terrible. That is terrible. All right, let's see how close we are getting here. And help PC. Oh, we can see the shaft we've dug down. Just a little bit more. A little bit in this direction, give or take. And we should start seeing some gold. Keep on digging. This way for a second, see if I'm going the right direction. It was really nice when they finally added this in. Before there were only like certain places where you would find these veins. Now they're just all over the dang place. Although I'm not sure if they're completely randomly generated. Somehow I doubt it. Okay, so I need to go. It's this direction. That's what I was trying to determine, which direction I need to go. Oh, I can see it right there. That right there is gold. And I really like how they did gold now. It has much more real nice metallic look to it. I can get a little bit closer to it, you can see there. It shines really well in the light here. And this is really valuable material just to sell it, even if I wanted to, you know, just pawn it off, I could. It's not really giving me a lot right now, and I might have to get down to the main vein before it'll give me a lot of gold. There we go, this is a good vein of gold. I better start seeing gold popping up on there, not just stone and freaking more stone. Marble and all this crap. Because I've been mining pure gold for not for a while now here. I'm gonna hold up for a second here until all this is done. It's calculating. Because I might not be mining this gold. Which would suck. Like, extremely. Marble, stone, 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 marble, stone. Graphite, more stone. There we go, gold. So it is mining the gold. It's just that this is taking so long to calculate what I've been mining on getting down here that it hasn't quite caught up yet. So it is, it is getting gold for me. Okay, good. I just wanted to verify. And you can see you get varying different materials for mining as well every single time you mine. Could be a little stone, could be a little graphite, some sulfur, some iron, some copper, you know, little trace elements of these metals because the planet is fairly rich in these metals. That's why we're here. Well, partially why we're here. Oh. 
Come on, keep her mining. Keep her mining. I like gold! But yeah, no, this is nice, finding this random gold vein out here. So that'll, that'll definitely help me out down the road here. Nice. Look at all that gold. Just gold, 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 gold. I can actually whip out my inventory here and see how it's doing. I almost have 300 blocks of gold now. That's nice. So a lot of this game you spend mining as well. You know, mining and then turning those materials into objects. You know, you going into the creation editor and making your own objects. Your own vehicles, your own, you know... Oh, Jesus, that's a long way. Yeah, no, it's not worth me trying to jump out of here. I'm going to fast travel to the meteorite crater. I'm going to find where I am here again. I'm going to make a little... A little signpost, I guess you could say. I should probably could have put it on. I probably could have put a mark on my map here. Because eventually I'm going to get a jetpack and I'll be able to just go straight up out of this tunnel. Just jetpack my way up out of there. You can go back to the camp. I'll meet you there. No, I haven't. What is it? What happened during the landing sequence? That is all. So hopefully he should soon head back to camp. And I can meet him there. Alright, as long as I go straight back, I should be able to find that location again. We'll just pop it on my map. That way I'll be able to know exactly where it is. Sweet, sweet. Alright. Am I being chased by something? It sounded like I was being chased by something. That's the one thing that... It has been wrong about this game for a long time now and I think still is an issue is the audio engine it seems to have an issue unless I'm wearing my headset wrong let me see here no that's my right ear I thought so like am I wearing my headset wrong it just seems wrong son um, for some reason the audio engine isn't programmed well to the point where it can detect you know which direction a sound is coming from and properly, you know, display it to our head, to our ears, as it were. To our ear holes. Let me keep my scanner up. Searching for gold. I think I see my shaft. Yep, there's my shaft right there. And see my shaft in the distance. There's a lot of freaking gold there. God damn. Oh, there's another one of those things. It's actually another vein of gold right here, actually. Oh, it's all one gigantic freaking vein. Massive gold vein. Let's see if I can find my hole. Should be right over here. Let's try not to fall in it though. Oh, I don't see it. Glancing around, I just can't quite seem to see it. Oh, that's because I'm a bit off here. Okay, it should be right in front of me. Okay, here it is. Found it. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to take these dirt blocks. And you can see I can do all kinds of different shapes with it now, which is kind of nice. I'm just going to go straight up here and create a, a pillar, essentially. That shows exactly where it's at. Wonder, ooh, that's kind of nice looking, actually. Whoops. 
Okay, let's see here. Right click to rotate. Oh, I can make it actually look pretty interesting. Yeah, this would be a nice looking marker now, wouldn't it? I could probably add like a little, one of those little light sources underneath those. It would look like a street lamp. Anyway, let's hit B and turn that off. I'll put this up in the corner here. This is close to it as I can get. My inventory down here. And check out the map. So we just have to go, still go a bit in, in this direction, but we should be arriving there soon at our destination. At long last, let's whip out my knife here, just in case. Well, I should probably whip my bow on my knife. <laughs> Bringing a knife to a bow fight. Well, I suppose if it was a big enough knife, he could probably, you know, put it on the bow and just kind of launch it and what the hell. He's in the tree! <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Oh, man. There's our destination up ahead. You can see it from now. Or from, from now. You can see it from here. That lovely giant mushroom. Oh, there's one of the creatures I have to kill for his mission. You'll see soon why I call them the lizard face dogs. Apparently they also fly now. Oh shit! There's more than one! I'm gonna fucking kill you, man! Get your ass back here! Prick! Ah, whatever. They got me good. They got me good. I wasn't rapid fire enough to take them down. Whoa! Yeah, they need to fix the tree physics here. <laughs> the trees are causing them to path up it and fly into the sky. It's really kind of hilarious and awesome, but also like, what the hell? I know there was one thing that used to happen with uh, with water as well here. I'm going to be going into water here in a second anyway. So I can kind of display it. Basically what you would do is you would swim down to the very bottom. You know, it would be a little deeper than this, I'm sure. A lot deeper than this. And then you would just hold the space bar to ascend and you would just go bursting out of the water. It would just, it would just kind of launch you right up out of the water. Doesn't do that anymore, which is sad. Yep, nope, won't do it. Alright, let's get on up here. That must be his backpack. Quest item. So we can head back now to Camp Carter. It's going to cost us 30 meat, though. So quite a chunk of change, but it's worth it. It's worth it. All right. About damn time you came back. Where's Sly and Chen? I didn't see Sly the tree. Only his backpack. Chen's coming shortly. Here comes Chen, warping in. Oh. Here's Sly's backpack. Shop. Get all this out of the way here again. 
We've got to get moving. I saw a herd of creatures coming this way on my way back. Maybe I have half an hour before they get here. Can't move. Gertie's going to the healing too. It'll be at least another hour before she's done. Damn it, Doc! Hey, help me set up a defense perimeter around the camp. We must stop them from getting through. They're coming from the northwest, so focus in that direction. sell you some stuff then my friend. Let me sell you some of this gold I got. So each block sells for 11 so that's pretty nice. Let's sell 70 for 700. Okay. The rifle script. Oh god, it's a thousand for each of those damn things. Jeez, what do I need to make them? Sentry Type 1. You need three plastics, two copper wires. Simple plastic requires just resin, so I'll make as much of that as I can, because I need a lot of simple plastic anyway. Chipsets. Create four of those. Sentry type ones. Oh yes, I need more bullets as well. And bullets require gunpowder, which requires charcoal. That got me 200, so I can get two more of these turrets. Got 17 seconds until they pop up here. I need to hurry up. Wow, they just destroyed one of my turrets. Seems like they've messed up the AI for the turrets a little bit. I was woefully unprepared. And I knew it was going to happen too, that's the funny part. Oh shit, here comes the big boss. Oh, I got killed. There we go, that's the last creature I need to actually kill for him. Now the big boss. Fire everything! Fire everything! Kill it! 
Kill it now! No you don't, big boss. You're mine. Whew. It's nice that this doesn't fail as easily. Usually before, you fell down. Or you died in this, and that was it. GG. What is it? What do we do about David? Any clue on when any more, any more survivors could be at? Uh, I didn't see anybody on my way to the crater, but the trajectory of the lifeboats were going. There should be easy lifeboats that way. So yeah, there's more survivors over there. What's up, Gertie? Yes. Fish, what you told me to do? Yep. Now we got that campfire going. Uh -huh. Anything I can have? Take two rounds. Yes. Oh, thank you. Don't get hurt. Oh. How are you doing, Gertie? I'm a lot better, thanks to your help. I'll be walking on my own in no time. Nice. Huh? Okay. Don't get hurt. Need a shot? Whew. What do we do now? Ford up there lifeboats that landed to the west of here. You should probably go and see if there are any survivors. I'll stay here until Gertie gets better. We need to start considering the long-term strategy here. If there aren't too many survivors, we will have a hard time lasting until the next ship arrives. I think we need to find a way to go to where the Epiphany crashed. Before that, we need to regroup with all the survivors around here. That'll be your job. Sounds good. Yeah, set up a base camp somewhere safe and we can all move that to the planet next move. It's better than having a bunch of splinter groups roaming around. Alright. What should we do about Sly? I'll go take another look there tomorrow. There are other more troubling possibilities for David's disappearance. I need three units of Psychus in order to finish up that mission for him. But we're gonna go to the... Do I wanna actually... Do I wanna do that one right now? Collect this. So only one of the four turrets I had survived, which is sad. But what can you do? Um. Hmm. Just debating if I want to. I'm gonna cut this down over here, actually. And you too, probably while I'm at it. Because I need a lot of resin right now is one thing I'm missing. Or not really missing, but it's something I need more of. Because with resin, I can make more of the bullets and so... Well, I think that's just for plastic for the chips, so, so I don't need that necessarily. But I do need more charcoal for the bullets. Uh, let's see, charcoal requires... Oh, it requires animal fat. 25 of you. So I'm gonna mount gunpowder. Max that out. And then with gunpowder, we can make a lot of bullets. 99 I can start off with. Okay. I only have the one more gunpowder. How many bullets does that leave me with? Nice, 700. Okay. Chen, I'm not sure if you actually have the rifle butt or not. Let me check, just to make sure. Shop. He has a Type 1 rifle, but no, he does not have the rifle muzzle. I did not think so. It's somebody else that has that. Okay, so we're going to head over to the rock formation. I already know my way there since I was already there before, so I can fast travel my way there quickly and begin this part of the mission already. So basically, I want to assemble my super weapon because I have a ridiculous amount of bullets. Bullets are a lot easier to make now than they used to be because basically it used to cost like, instead of making Look, seven times with the material, it used to, take, it used to make like one. 
or something similar too. So it was really, really low end and hard that way. So it was, it wasn't, it wasn't efficient to have the kind of rifle I have. Anyone else in your party? In a decent here, there was another Martian lady with us. I think her name was Daida, but she went back to the boat to see if anyone else survived, and we've been waiting for her here since. I'm really worried. Look, Always can help a fellow man. Know it's going to be dangerous. Need anything? Teach me how to create things. I thought you'd never ask, since you were never interested back on the ship. All right, I'll teach you the basics of the art of creation. But from now on, you must call me Master Mustafa. Yes, Master Mustafa. I understand, uh, Master. Good student. Let's begin. Hey, yeah. So it's just telling me the tutorial of how to do that. I already know how to do that, though. So. Let's see what she has here. She might actually have the scripts I need. Yep, she has the muzzles. Um, how much resources do I have? Much we oh enough to buy what I need. Okay, so I'll buy one of those. I'll buy four of those, and that should be good. Yeah. Close this. So I can't hey, talk to hey. Lao. I cannot talk to Lao right now, sadly. Now I could buy a lot of other stuff from her as well. She actually has the steel bow, which is really nice. But I'm actually going to be creating my own custom weapon right now. So this thing is going to be too pretty. It's just going to be mostly functional. But let me go in here now. Not the replicator, I need to go into the creation system. Create, we want to create a gun, obviously. So this is our gun creation window here. So we have to start off with parts. So we start off with the rifle grip, which is what we want here. Okay. And then we need to select a material. I'm going to raise this up here. So on the right side we have this little uh, level selector where we can raise it up to where we need it. Alright, so I want to make it out of iron. So you can see it's not the prettiest thing in the world. Most definitely not. That looks even. Alright. Now. Oh, I should probably even this out here, I suppose. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Now, how did I do this last time? Ah, yes. I remember now how I did this. I went about halfway... Except I need to do more than that. Better than that. Something like this. Select mode. Box select. There's also a way I could I can uh, duplicate it on the other side, but I cannot for life me remember what it was. So yeah. Disable that. Okay. Uh, 
There we go. This one obviously needs to extend out a little bit more, I guess. Or actually, I could probably bring this one back some. Delete. Delete. There we go. That's evened. That's sort of evened it up here. There we go. Obviously, I now want to select the top here and remove it. Whoops. I like they've actually made this significantly easier to to mold and mess around with. So I really like what they've done with the creation editor here. Alright. Then from what I did from here at this point was just a simple matter of... That, really. Oh, god dang it. Uh, selector. Delete. Delete. Okay. Pull this back up here. So, not perfect, but it'll do. So I can select all these and delete them. There we go. That removes those. Then all that's left to do is lower this baby down a little bit here go into my parts I guess I do need to raise it up then for this bit and we add on the muzzles There we go. Up a little bit more. So this is my basic for, you know, purpose kind of just gun of death, essentially. Now, paint. I like to paint her black. Airbrush. And it's a nice little airbrush here too, but I'm just going to paint the whole thing a nice black to match the handle. Quick little airbrush. And we'd never know this was originally a crappy gray. But we know. We know. But no. Alright. So now that my super gun is back and running. Of course, some of the people have made some much better items than this, you know. Some real badass weapons. 
Let's add a blue stripe down the center. If I can. Eh, it'll have to do. Good enough. Good enough. So statistics-wise, I can see... Materials, parts... Okay. I can see everything there. Rifle... Its cell price is 309 meat. Its accuracy is pretty bad. Its final attack damage is pretty... 480. 5.7 fire rate. Durability is 900. Requires three pigments. So, I need to save this. First thing. If I believe here. Just trying to see. Oh, yeah, down here. Need to save this gun and just. I'll just call it Super Gun. Because why the hell not? saved and now in the bottom right corner I could export this so I believe that one not save my ISO this one would be exported but unfortunately in order to export it to my inventory I require three pigments which I do not currently have so you do hey, hey. and you can see time actually went by while I was doing that too so I'm gonna buy three pigments from her and I like that it's actually pigments now before you had to actually craft the specific kinds I am so happy that they chose not to do that anymore there we go so we'll load this guy we'll export him export successfully exported enjoy so if I pull up in my inventory now go to my equipment screen we can see I have this little ISO here super gun uh, you can see that each of those barrels has 130 attack an accuracy of 10 and a speed of 1.4 all the stats are on there so I can pull this baby up hit 5 and guess what oh yeah there's my baby I can even see it here. Obviously, it looks like shit, but it's going to be functional as hell. So, we're going to go rescue this girl, and then I'm going to call it at that for today, maybe, depending. I could probably do like an hour and a half for this video today. Ah, that sunset. How lovely. Might have to take a nap here in a minute. <laughs> Pass a little time. Alrighty then. Oh, hello. You have a. I'll show you what. I'll show you the power of this weapon here against this critter. Look at that! Instantly dropped him within seconds. And he was the last one I needed, so I wasn't sure if it was the Wolfenos was the uh, was this guy right here. The giant uh, alligator dinosaur, or if it was the other guy, but apparently it was it was the dinosaur. <laughs> Alright, now we are getting late here, so I think I'm just going to pass out for now. We'll go put my bed over here, underneath this lovely little underhang, or overhang, underhang. Getting too close to my liking. Insta-kill, kill, kill. Yeah, this thing is inc incredibly overpowered now. Uh, what lovely evening we have. But yeah, I can't wait to see, you know, this this game is only 25 bucks on Steam right now. I believe it's 25 bucks. Let me, let me verify here. Steam, store page. Yeah, it's 25 bucks. And it has, a, it has such a bright future because it's multiplayer. You know, you can get on here, you can play with your friends. Eventually, I believe they said that they wanted to make the campaign as well playable with your friends. Um, you can go into the adventure mode and build up like towns together Someone and all kinds of sweet to stuff. Gravity, it's tough to run in a place like this. Uh-huh. Honestly, if I knew we'd run into so much trouble, I would have stayed on Luna. Downed. Yeah, this is an overpowered weapon now. Unfortunately, you can, uh, you might be wondering, you know, why did I put four barrels on there? Why didn't I put six barrels or something like that? If you go into the creation system, look at the uh, parts for the gun. It'll actually say. Let's see if I can actually. I'll put it down here. 
to inspect it, I guess. If you hover over, it'll actually say that the max muzzle count is four for that. Whereas if I remove that and say put this handgun down here, the max muzzle count for that is one. So you can't have a dual barreled pistol right now with this MK1 pistol, or, you know, don't save that. With this uh, basic uh, handgun, uh, well, handle, you can only have the one, which is, which is unfortunate. It would be really interesting if you had like a double barreled pistol of awesomeness, uh, but it would not function. Now, we did also get a script for the rifle and that. I'll get that. So yeah, this weapon is basically unfreaking stoppable now. Although I always do need to watch it just to make sure that its durability doesn't go too low. See, its current durability with all the shooting I've been doing has gone down by 30 already. But I can also repair it in a uh, little repair, uh... Excuse me. Repair item in base. Or a repair machine. Basically, you just toss the item in and it'll tell you it requires, you know... 30 iron or, uh, you know, uh, 80 gold or something to repair it. And you just go, okay, sure, yes, done, done. Sweet. Now, I always, I'm a ranged guy. I prefer ranged weaponry to melee weaponry. Although there is one guy uh, on the forums who is, I believe he's an admin of the forums now, if I'm not mistaken. Malice, I believe. And he is, he is an amazing guy with some of the melee weapons he has created. Not only does he make cool melee weapons, but he creates functional melee weapons. You know, things that have high damage yet look badass. Because that's a hard thing to balance. Because for a long while there, pretty much the best weapon you could make in the game was essentially a giant, like, limestone mace. Like a giant limestone block attached to a sword. So, that was a little ridiculous. <laughs> so that was my weapon all the time. I was just swinging around this gigantic freaking block attached to his tiny little sword. Okay, now they're all in here. Whoops, I actually need to go down here. Otherwise, I'll anger them. I need to specifically go to that point where it will not engage this part of the mission. It's like, look, they're in trouble. Oh, there's Dova Bear. Dova Bear! He's there. And another person, too. Come on, they, they saw us. I'll go help them. Keep the bears busy. Dova Bear! Bear paw. They actually do give me a mission to clear out these bears at one point, too, so... Okay. Escape the fire bears completed. Where'd they go? Set up a base camp. Usually they run just a little bit of ways here, but I can't see them. Huh. Yeah, they're gone. In that case, I'll just head over to the rock formation and double check and make sure if they're there. I'll make sure if they're there or not. Seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Hey, do you have anything else we do? You know my engineering is not my only talent. I can design some pretty awesome armor as well. Right now I'm working on a nifty armor, but I want to try it. Need some materials. Yeah, I got that. Need anything? Sweet deal. Is a script for the copper armor set. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Anything I can help you with? Martian doctor with us. She went back to the crash site even when we told her it was certain death. Lau wants to go to the crash site to see if anyone else survived. I can't really help in my current state, but I really want to get back there as well and see if I can salvage anything. 
If you can go clear out those pesky bears, great deal. Okay, she's oh, the one who asked me to do that. Yeah. So she wants me to get her some more wood. Okay. Now, obviously, they didn't arrive here, so I have to go back to Adiza's camp and look around so I can find them. I should have been watching where the hell they were going. Oh, well. Now I have to look around for the little buggers. Okay, loading. Please wait. They run off to. <laughs> Die, Dover Bear. So obviously, my shots are scattering around a lot. Alright, let's collect all this stuff. That's two Dova Bears dealt with. I don't see where the hell those NPCs got off to. Ooh, hello. Nope, can't collect that. Or that. Yeah, I don't know where the hell they got off to. Shit, this is unfortunate. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Yeah, usually they would head off towards the forest over there, so I'll have to look around for them. Got him. Dova Bear's down. Dova Bear's down. Oh, there they are, little bastards. So that's where you went. So you have a new destination now, so it's right up here. Man, am I blind. Yes. Ooh, that was tough. Damn right it was. Holy canoe. This planet is just way too dangerous. We should probably try living underground. I could arrange that. Mm -hmm. Is this person okay? I don't know. I can only hope always bring a light. Nice day, huh? Let me talk to her. What do you want? This person be yeah, okay? Maybe. It's a pretty deep bite work on the side. Oh, we should have brought in the army first. Oh, it's you. You're alright? I thought you were hurt. Yeah, I was only pretending to be hurt so that the bears wouldn't guard me so closely. The moment I saw an opening, I was gonna jet out of there with the other survivor, yeah? Alright. Now she is I guess a medic. What do you want? Everything else we do? Well, I do need some materials to help an earthling out. Six units of tulips. We need sunflower and some other stuff. Okay, let's go back to where okay, these is. I think they're all following me again, so we just have to run there. Things will be much more convenient once I've done her vehicle uh, tutorial and I can actually buy some of that stuff. Especially now that, you know... Wait, what the hell? I'm pretty sure you want me to head you guys back there, but I'm like, what the heck? You're kind of leading me right... There's an odd icon there now. I'm like, what the hell? It's weird. That's probably for her medicine. I'm guessing. Bug report. Bug report. <laughs> Alright, let's take the water route this time around. This is how I used to get around here more easily because the AI would have problems with that uh, ledge. So I used to just swim across like this. Now you can see a lot of people have qu asked me about the water, if you can go swimming, if you can dig underwater. I don't necessarily... Well, yes, you can dig underwater, but I don't know if you can dig underwater caves. Because it might just fill up with a new uh, physics system for that. I'm not sure exactly 100% how the physics system works. 
I'm assuming it just checks to make sure, you know, what's the level of the ocean? Uh, does it have access? Does the water have access to an area? It does. Okay, start automatically filling it. Still, I played a little bit of it. You saw a little bit of adventure mode we did. We found some really cool caves filled with water and such. So that was pretty nice. But it'd be sweet to get some missions in adventure mode, which they are going to be working on for the newest builds and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, again, I just greatly look forward to the future of this game, with all the stuff they'll be adding in. Take time to take out Crocosaur. Got him. Sweet. Yeah, I'll be able to do some great hunting with this weapon now. Although, as you can see, I'm already down. Which, I'm already down from 700 to 478 rounds. So this thing still does chew up ammunition like a monster. But that's not a surprise, considering how bloody powerful it is. Don't make me murder you. I warned you. It does use up four bullets every single time you shoot it, so you know. It's like just four, eight, sixteen, so on and so forth. Or twelve, sixteen. Derp. Oh, hello. You I want to take on. Because I gotta fight one of you in a minute anyway. And down you go. I call this the Dragon Rooster. You can kind of see why. He is the mighty dragon rooster, and he has been defeated. <laughs> okay. We'll be back there in no time. But the funny thing is, I bring them all the way back here, only for them to go all the way back to that camp we were just at like a minute ago, anyway. <laughs> it's funny like that. But yeah, I actually like that they rebalanced this a little bit more. Although they may have made it like incredibly easy now. Because I can obliterate everything pretty damn quickly. Okay, where's that where's that rock? It's oops a little bit to the left here. There it is. You can see it in the distance now. I kinda wanna chop down this little peach blossom here. Cause I believe that's one thing I actually need as well. Is this tree right here? There we go. It took me a minute to find the harvesting spot for this thing. Nice. Chopper down. Chopper good. 16 wood. We got peach flower fruit. Again, I'm low on wood. Inventing the wheel. I suppose I can chop down a few trees before I head back to that rock so that way I have both the missions completed from her. Now there's that damn dog again. One day I will tame those puppies and I'll have a sled pulled by them just to, just to get revenge on them for killing me so many times. Twenty-one wood, some plant fibers. Let's harvest this. I want to harvest this guy as well, this cactus. I believe that gives me uh, another interesting fruit or something. Plant fibers a lot. It does give me a lot of plant fibers, I believe, as well. So, whoops! Oh, you don't, asshole! Oh no, he's getting away. There you go. You're not getting away, prick. You don't fight us and then think you can get away alive. Not gonna happen, buddy. Not gonna happen. You're dreaming, son. You're dreaming. All right, let's mine this sucker here. Oh wow, it's gonna take a minute. I need a sharper axe, man. I need a sharper axe. Make it gold. I suffered a slight, unfortunate genitalia smelting accident. But no, I love that movie. Good old Lost in Powers. Good for a laugh. Or five. Or ten. <laughs> Alright, almost done. Come on, baby. Come on, chop it down now. God, we need a two person sauce. These people could be less lazy and help me out here. 
Now, pretty much before the NPCs, you could bring them to your colony, but they really wouldn't do anything of any significant interest. Now they can actually plant and grow crops. Oh, yes. Euphorbia. Euphorbia seed, so I can actually plant that now. Okay, she should be just up ahead here. So I'll drop all these people off. They'll be wanting to go back to their camp again, their lifeboat all together. But before that happens, I'm going to turn in both of my quests to her. I've really got to go into those woods, though. We saw so we saw the woods over there when we were fighting the bears, so... That's the forest, and it just contains so much Dad, trees. I was really worried there. Uh, nothing to it. Nothing to it. Are you hurt? You don't have to worry about me. All right. Do you have anything else for me to do? Looking for some materials, speed up the process of acquiring steel, which is really nice. Let me turn in her quest first. So that'll yeah. give me some armor here as well. Finish what you told me to do. Here's the script for the wooden wheel. Once you replicate it, you can use it to, in the creation hey, editor. Hey. Finish what you told me to do. She'll give me the armor. Do you have anything else for me to do? Now that you have the wheel, here comes the hard part. Vehicles made up of a cockpit and an engine. The engine itself is made up of multiple chipsets and materials. For these, we're going to need a lot of resources. Here's a list, so get on it. So we need, well, all of the wood material I have, actually. Oh, I'm making steel, I did. Here you go. He gave me the script for it now, so I can now make steel. I'll equip all those. And she gave me copper armor, so I'm going to equip that. Now I'm allowed to look like a centurion. <laughs> Eventually, there we're hoping that you'll be able to make your own armor sets and all kinds of stuff. So you can have, like, skulls on your, on your shoulders or something badass like that. Uh, do you have something else for me to do? Oh, for the engine, I need 20 units of steel. Since I'm such a good friend, I'm going to give you the steel swords and shield scripts. You'll now prove you're worthy. Let's take on a couple of greenback rhinos. Oh, those things are easy. Those things are easy now. Of course, before they would kick my ass, but, you know, now they're easy. Okay, so let me replicate the 20 steel here quickly. Which I believe requires, yeah, wood and iron. Oh, pff, of course, I can only make five units. I'm out of wood again. Damn it! Must chop more wood. Wait, I have a copper axe. Let me see if I can buy something a little bit more advanced from these people. Mm -hmm. Now, shot me. It's not much more advanced, but it's better than this copper axe. Iron is slightly better than copper. Okay, let's get it chopping. I need a lot of wood. Oh, yeah, it's a lot faster. Look at that. Just like done. Chop, chop, done. I'm about to go for the big boss here, though, in order to get some serious wood. So I can get this steel crafted for her. So once all is said and done, we will have a nice little ride. I think I'll actually download someone else's ride for that. Kind of like how I was going to get that Chinook helicopter somebody made. And I think I did eventually. I just had to convert the ISO and I had that Chinook helicopter. It was really nice. I liked it. Alright, let's chop Big Bertha here. Now, this should give me some good wood. Of course, it's going to take me a minute to actually mine it out, but, you know. The, them the sacrifices. Them the sacrifices. So, we'll slowly chop this beast down. Should give me 100 plus, hopefully, wood. And then we can head back and finish this up. And she should give me the script for the cockpit. Which I can then make. And I can basically at that point assemble just like a wooden platform with a bunch of seats and a cockpit and an engine. And I can drive it around. <laughs> Essentially. I am not the creative type, I must say. I, I can eventually slowly create something kind of cool. But, you know, I'm not going to be able to spend like, you know, 13, 14 hours creating something epic. I just... I don't got the time and I don't got the skill. Or the imagination. Oh, Jesus! 600! Christ, that's awesome! Woo! Fuck yeah! So much for having issues with uh, collection now. God damn. There we go. I like how it creates it in one go, so you're not just like creating like, you know, okay, one steel, two steel, three steel. No, it does the whole batch in a single go. Which is nice. Oh, I should probably eat some rations. Let me just delete that. 
Yes, I want to delete the bullet script. I already have that. All right, let's turn these What's in. Up? I finished what you told me to do. Great. Now you'll need to replicate the chipsets first because they are necessary to replicate to the engine. Hey, hey. Very good. Now the wheels and engine. We need the fuel cells to power them. And very close to finishing the script for it. Can you give me these materials so we can get it done? Which requires 20 units of fuel and 5 units of simple plastic. Which she should have given me the script for fuel. She did. I have the vehicle engine script now as well. So fuel, let's see what that requires. Fuel requires coal and petroleum. She did not, however, give me any petroleum. Got stuff for me? I don't think she sells petroleum either. Mm -hmm. Shop. Cream color light box script. That's a decoration. Of course, we also have glass. All that other stuff. And no, he has not. Does not have what I need. All right. So what are you guys gonna? I may as well tell him that. Need help finding minerals. What are you guys gonna do now? Lisa said she wanted to go back to the boat to see if she can get anything useful out of it. After that, who knows? What will you do? Are you coming with yes, us? Yes, me. Look for survivors. Oh. Get a base base operated. Well, if that's the case. Don't forget to get us too when you're done setting up a base. The only problem is I don't think I can actually hire these people when I get the base set up. I actually uh, what the words what's the word I'm looking for? Go to the forest is my next objective, which starts off the next quest chain. But before all we're done here, we're going to do one last little thing. Currently fast traveling. We're going to go back here. We're going to finish off this quest here, chain with Chen. And then we're going to call it for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And uh, this decision to actually do this as a full let's play for the whole thing now again. Instead of just doing what's new. Hopefully you guys like the uh, higher quality to it. Oh, hey, the backpack's back here again. Fish what you told me to do, not bad. Check it out, this thing will attract animal species to you almost anywhere. Be careful though, or you'll end up dead. Okay. What, what do you think happened to David? He's a tough guy. He shouldn't go down there. Never know in a place like this. There's a red corona nest uh, north of here. Wanna check it out? Let's go. So, basically, if I did not have this gun, I would be dying here, constantly. Although I do have a strategy for it, I create a, uh, what I call a cage of dirt. So I basically hit B to load this up and create pillars of dirt right up in the air, about 20, 30 blocks high each. And that allows me to cage these birds in, uh, and just shoot them with my bow as I'm, you know, safe behind it. Although they can still blast me. Because there are three of those things you have to fight at the same time, and you really don't want to you know, piss them off too easily. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love this game. I really do. Oh, there's one of the greenbacks need to kill anyway. Attack! Point blank. Nice. That's one of three greenback rhinos. Oh, there's that little damn bastard. White apes. Them damn white apes. There's another one. I can hold it down and just go rapid fire. Prick. Okay, so I took down all three of the green backs. Grab that. But yeah, I, the reason why I don't really make any more custom swords now, though, is because they changed the system, and I don't really understand how the new system works uh, for calculating damage and such. Uh, so it turns out that, you know, no matter what kind of custom weapon I tried to make, it turned out that uh, the default script weapons that you make were far, far better. Which was unfortunate. <laughs> Yours may have higher durability. But the script ones will be doing far, far more damage. Check my right side just in case. All right, there they are. Let's get them, man. What the heck is this place? 
We need to get into the nest and look around. We'll have to somehow keep the Coronas away from us. You think of something. Okay. I thought of something. Except my aim is pitiable. Fire everything! Fire everything! Chain gun style! And he's down. One down. Oof. They give some good meat. If you just hold it down, it'll just keep firing it. Which is nice. Before, I used to do it, uh, you know, like one barrel, then the next barrel, then the next barrel, just like a, you know, rapid fire chain gun. Now it just fires them at the same time, although I, it did, for a minute there, it did seem like it was firing it from one barrel at a time. Alright, let's get into the nest. Interesting, ain't it? We have here our alien civilization. Yes. That was tough. I don't see any human signs here. That's a relief. What is this place? Give me some of the willies. I don't think we're alone on this place. Or in this place. Yes. What now? I'm going to report back to Dr. Carter regarding David. And what we're seeing right now, this can't be good. Strange though, we haven't encountered anything like this. That could have built this. This place looks really old. Alright, so we gave you some new stuff here. Of course, I have the iron scripts here, the grenade script, the monster beacon script, we can, which is basically like the camp attack we had happen earlier. I can throw it down somewhere and have a wave of enemies start coming after me. We have this interestingly crafted structure here. There's actually a place, there's a nice little face here. There's actually a place where you could actually go down below inside of it and it had a bunch of iron inside. We. Yeah, I don't think I want to be climbing in here. It's a good way to get stuck. <laughs> anyway, now I'd have to go over here to the woods, continue, and so on and so forth. So I think I'm going to zoom over to Adiza's camp and just kind of log out here for now so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, lovely little episode here and uh, yeah we'll have to catch you all next time for the uh, continued Planet Explorers Adventures of Madness and uh, hopefully either sometime later this evening or tomorrow probably likely tomorrow I will get some Dwarf Fortress up although we'll see what happens I finished the job you told me to do I didn't think you'd see a swordsman in this day and age did she give me anything for that? Ah, the steel sword and shield script. I'd still have to get the petroleum for her, and I can't really do that. Now, I could actually hire this guy if I did a mission for him, I believe, or the similar guys to this, these random guys with a sword and a shield on them. And they would walk, they would go with me, they would fight enemies with me, and, you know, that generally, that's what they would just do. But, meh. I'd rather hire the guys that are at a camp north of here. So you can see all the big trees here, so... This would be a good place to finally get some wood, but we already got a lot last time anyway. So, whoops. Let's save over this here. Save successful. So yeah. Back to main menu. So thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great one, and I will catch you all next time. Peace out, everybody. Planet Explorers! Away!